Hello everybody and welcome to the first of hopefully very many One Take Greek Days. I'm Martin Littlewood, also known as In The Littlewood on uh, the old YouTube and Twitter and Minecraft and just about everywhere. Is it called an alias? Is that um, Maybe I've got the right word, maybe I haven't. Uh, but anyway, today we're going to be doing something called the 404 Challenge. Now, for people who do web design, they might recognise 404 as being page not found. If I can type, there we go. So I'm going to appropriately name it that. Now, uh, this is a challenge that's been on the Minecraft forum after someone discovered the most fepic cave of of awesomeosity is what I'm going to explain it as a fepic cave of awesomeosity uh, I'm going to let this load up a couple of seconds and um, basically you have to get down there and you have to survive for as long as possible kill as many things as possible collect and craft all sorts and uh, you actually get points so like there's a little point tally in the top right corner of the screen at the minute and um, yeah I'm going to be keeping track of how well I'm doing now uh, before we start breaking into stuff you need to know the ground rules so here they are Okay, so rule number one, you have until nightfall to gather supplies, so spend your time wisely. Once night hits, you must venture into the hole, never to return to the surface again. Rule number two, you can gather any resources from the top side, but venturing into other caves, mostly for iron, is not allowed. Sunlit caves, though, are okay. Rule number three, you must not break the ground of the 404 gravel until you are ready to enter the cave. Now, the way this game is supposed to be played, and how the author would like it to be done, is that you spend your normal day, you know gathering materials and then you see loads of creepers or whatever come in and you're like oh no I need to tombstone myself so you dig a couple of blocks down into the gravel which actually turns out to be the 404 hole and it washes you down to the cave and that's where your story begins rule number four once you've entered the cave you must descend all the way to the bottom of the waterfall as it sweeps you to the deepest part of the cave Number five, quite important, no torches. If you whine that you can't use torches, then STFU. Real men use lava for light anyway. Although redstone torches, jack-o'-lanterns and flint of steel are perfectly fine. Rule number six, very simple, survive and thrive. Don't simply just build a wall around yourself, explore, build, progress, your score will be based on what you accomplish, not how long you survive. Rule number seven, only mine ores that are visible to your naked eye. If you see an ore, you can mine it and check around the blocks next to it to see if there's any more of it. No branch or strip mining is allowed. You're down here trying to survive, you're not in your nine to five mining job. Rule number eight is to do with the difficulty level, you have to play on normal or if you're feeling a bit testy, you can play on hard. If you do, you get a 1.5 times score multiplier, which for people like me didn't really get it straight away it basically means that you get your score plus half added on so let's say you got a score of 10 that would become 15 winning rule number nine this is an iron man challenge so you only get one life if you die the challenge is over start a brand new 404 world and give it another go and finally rule number 10 you are not allowed to use the inventory editor or any other mods, any kind of cheating is not allowed. And you're not even allowed, according to this, to use the F3 button to see where mob locations are with the numbers above their heads. Not allowed. Okay, so then be the rules of the 404 challenge on minecraftforum.net. So I'm going to crack on with this. Now, if I read correctly, you get points for collecting cacti. So I'm going to rack up a couple of points from this. There we go. Now, is it, it is cacti, isn't it? Or is it cactuses? Cactuses. Like cactus and then with an apostrophe after it, maybe. I'm awful at English. I'm awful at everything, to be honest. And uh, there we go. Now, I'm just thinking, do I need to get coal? Because I'm going to be deep down in the cave, so I imagine there's going to be a lot. But seeing as I can't make torches, I'm only going to really need it for smelting. And I think one single piece of coal can last for at least, what, five pieces of iron? So I'm pretty sure if I get minimal amounts downstairs, then I'm going to be okay. Possibly. Uh, what else have we got? Let's get the last couple of cacti from down here. Aha! I'm going to make a set out of leather as well, um, an armour set. Because apparently, uh, if you make an armour set, you get points for that as well. Uh, it's only if you make a full set, though. It, it does not like if you make leggings uh, and then a chest plate and then you get a load of points. doesn't work that way. Now, I'll tell you what, let's make some gear before we get that. Some piggies over there as well. I'm going to need to take a lot of food and there is a lot of them there. Uh, let's make some of these. Take the whole tree down. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, something I wanted to tell you about as well. My Minecraft parody. So uh, I've been writing a Minecraft parody to a popular chart song. Uh, and I've just finished it today. I recorded the test version. Uh, when I was sort of halfway through uh, putting it together, I actually spoke to Try Hard Ninja, 
who sings the vocals for the TNT one, you know, with Tyre Cruz's Dynamite. You might have seen it on Captain Sparkles' channel. Um, and I've spoken to him. He quite liked the song, but he's got five other projects on the go at the minute, as in songs. Uh, so he's not been able to um, to work with me, which is a bit of a shame. But it does make me hopeful that, you know, if he likes it, then I'm pretty sure some other people might as well. Let's get some piggies. So as soon as I can get that done, uh, I've got the storyboarding done. I've got the, the lyrics done. I just need one person to sing and uh, maybe the same person or somebody else to actually uh, create the instrumental because I want to try and upload it without having copyright issues. I don't want this person's people. I'm not going to say who it is. I always give away my parodies. I always pr pr I practically spill the beans on everything. Uh, before I actually even like record it sometimes so uh, yeah I'm keeping a tight lid on this one which is all good so uh, yeah if anybody knows of any other YouTubers that do kind of game based parodies maybe even just regular parodies uh, then let me know in the comments section that'll be all good just collect some wood I'm gonna get a lot of wood because I'm not gonna be coming back upstairs so um, yeah I'm, I'm wondering whether I should take some saplings downstairs I've tried so many times to get one of those underground tree farms going, and I, j I can't do it. I've, tr I've tried so many times, and it just fails miserably every single time. There we go. Right, so how much pork have we got in a minute? Six pieces. That's all good. I don't remember if I get points for collecting reeds. Hmm. I'll collect those just before I go down. Where's the sun at? So it's relatively noonish time at the minute. Uh, oh, don't eat that, bugger. Come on. Why is he all the way out here anyway? Come on, mate. Come on. Get some leather. Anything? No. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, there's another cow over there. We've got some sheep. Should we take some wool? I don't know what wool's going to do down there. But, you know, I'll get to my dire moment just as I'm about to uh, be killed. And I could put up a wool wall. There we go. Chickens. What are they? Your feathers, I suppose? And zombies as well. I've been meaning to talk to you about this, everybody. Why do zombies drop feathers? Now, the only explanation I can think of is that when you're underneath the ground, you don't get chickens, so you can't create arrows. Um, let me kill him with a weapon. I might harvest it now. Uh, yeah, so when you're underneath the ground, you don't get chickens, so you need arrows for when you've got your archery skills out and about. Uh, so maybe that's the reason they drop feathers, but I don't know. I just find it a bit odd. Maybe if they gave him wings or something. <laughs> kind of like a Gabriel. A Gabriel zombie. That'd be amazing. Uh, piggies. With a curly tail. Let's get these re... Oh. Oh, I thought that was a bigger hole than it was. <laughs> it's the fartiest little hole ever and I'm panicking about it. Here we go. Get some reeds. And let's go over here. I can hear zombies already. What's that all about? How is that even possible? Let's see how far down this goes. Oh, wow, this does go pretty deep, actually, considering it's just off the shore. That's all good. Uh, oh, the music's coming in now. Amazing. I'm hoping it's the music. I don't know if you've heard it yet. There's some music in Minecraft on my C418, and it sounds like Final Fantasy X. You know the music that plays at the start and at the end? I'll probably put a link and a, an annotation over the screen at the minute, and if you click on it, listen to the two of them side by side, and um, you'll hear some similar chords. Not saying anything was stolen, but I'm saying that I can see where his inspirations come from. Uh, right, let's get some rock. Pound, pound. I'm thinking, should I make? Oh no, because I can't make torches, can I? I was about to say, shall I make some charcoal? Because then I can make torches, but I'm not allowed. Damn it! This challenge is tough. There we go. And up we are. I'm just going to turn the music down a tiny bit for you. There we go, 15 will do. Okay, let's make some stone gear. I didn't bring my crafting bench with me. Rookie mistake. That means I'm just about to waste more wood now. Amazing. That's fine. Um, okay, let's get some sticks going. There we are. And we're going to mass collect wood really quickly with this. There we go. Right, let's do this. I think wood is the most important thing for me to collect. Wood, saplings, uh, and I think everything else I can get down there. I can get sand, all those other bits. That's all good. Uh... Oh, by the way, my videos now in 1080p, which is good. I got a new monitor the other day, like absolute bargain. Monitor was 125 quid, and I got it for like 35 pound in the end through like vouchers and 
uh, money off like friends and everything so yeah loving that the video is now in glorious 1080 penis which is a willy joke so let's get your best ones in the comments ah giggle giggle we're so mature aren't we everybody yes yeah definitely are here we go nightfall isn't too far off now i'm getting a little bit worried and there we go take those down I may invite, actually, if I fail at this very, very quickly, <laughs> I may load this up on a multiplayer server and get Toby and Max in on this. Maybe that'll just increase our chances of dying. We'd have to play it on hard, though. If there was more than one of us, we'd have to play it on hard, for sure. Uh, let's take those down. Okay, so we're getting to the evening now. I think it's about time that we go. And uh, let's collect my crafting bench. Let's do that. I think it's about time we start making our way down the hole. Oh, steady on. I'm losing health already, and I'm not even in. No mobs. All I need to do is walk around. I think this class is as night time. Nice sunset. Should we watch it together? I think I feel like we should share this moment together. Let's let's do that. Here we go. And there it is. The nice sunset. The last one we're going to see for I don't know how long. Is it okay if I hold your hand? No? Okay, that's... Uh, okay, right, there we go. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> I'm nervous now. I'm nervous. Um, I can hear skeletons already, so I'm just going to... I don't want to stand on it while I break it. I've seen how much this falls. Oh, this sounds, this sounds. Okay. I'm going to take refuge in this cage for the night. I can already hear a skeleton. I'm kind of... Oh, there he is. He's there. Ah, uh, Okay. Okay. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, no. He's... He's making me jump. Right, where is he? Where is he? Come on. Get, get lost. Get lost. You're going to die. Yes. That'll do. Okay. Are you ready to take the plunge? I'm, I'm, so, I'm sort of ready. I'm not entirely sure if I'm, uh, if I'm mentally prepared for this. Uh, here we go! That wasn't quite the uh, fall I was hoping for, never mind. Now, you might not be able to see this as it is very dark, but because I've got my blinds closed at the minute, in the middle of the day. Oh no! There's stuff exploding already! Oh gosh, oh god, oh god, okay. It said I had to go all the way to the bottom. Okay, this kind of looks like the bottom. Oh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Okay. So we've got the zombies already. He's fallen into the lava. Oh no, the skeleton's clever. He knows better than that. Uh, okay, right here we go. Fight number one downstairs. I get points for each uh, z uh, mob that I kill as well. I'm not taking ownership for that one. I don't feel like I deserve it. Okay, okay. What we got? Okay, that's a dead end. We've got nothing over. Th okay, looks like this way is the way to go. Let me whack my crafting bench down. Oh goodness me. Uh, what am I making? I'm making a pick. I'm making a pick. No, I've got a pick there. This is tense. This really messes with your mind. We do a thing on my friend's radio show where you have to say as many words in 20 seconds as you can. Oh, God, who's firing at me? And uh, because you're under so much pressure, you can't actually think of it. Oh, where is he? Oh, God. Oh, God. I feel like I'm walking into I'm walking into him. This is... Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's a spider there. It's I think I am done with the game today. My time ran out At the right time I must say That is my alarm We are done for now So thank you for watching my show I'll see you later Wow that was a <laughs> That was very lucky Around about 15 minutes each episode That's how we're going to work this thing uh, Bye <laughs>